Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valentina, in case you don't know me. And today I want to talk to you about the no makeup makeup look. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the kind of makeup that you do when you want to look natural and give the illusion that you're not wearing any makeup at all, but you are, and sometimes a lot but no one can tell. So in this video, I wanted to walk with you through the mistakes that you're making and what you're doing wrong with your no makeup makeup. And not just that, but tell you what you have to do instead and show you my version of a no makeup makeup look that I do on myself as my everyday kind of makeup. The first mistake that you're making is that you're not taking enough care of your skin. For this kind of makeup, it's very important to have good skin. And by good skin, I am not referring to free of imperfections. That's exactly why I wanted to do this video today that I have acne, that I have pigmentation. So you can see that even if you don't have perfect skin, you can still achieve a very fresh makeup, very natural, but you have to do it the right way. But the thing is, you do need to take care of your skin, and if you have acne, you need to take care and treat it the proper way. Try not to self-medicate someone that can help you with it, because sometimes you can end up doing things that are going to do more damage than good. Wear sunscreen, all of these things that are going to make sure that the texture and the hydration of your skin is in the right place and is not going to just take all of the moisture from your makeup and make it look dry and crusty during the day. So I'm going to first prep my skin with my skincare. I'm going to very quickly show you what I've been using and I am about to go on a trip so I have everything already packed and this is the things that I actually use even if I go traveling. So I already apply my vitamin C. This is the one that I'm using right now. It's the Drunk Elephant now. And this doesn't mean that you have to use all of this. You have to tailor your skincare to your skin and your necessities. I'm also using this Antioxidant Botanical Serum from Dope Skin. They send this to try out. I fell in love especially with this scrub. I used that yesterday, so I'm not taking that with me, but I applied this one, I already did it. Also, my As Clear medication for my acne, and this is what I'm using right now, and sometimes I also use this tea tree medicated gel for acne. So I'm using the Good Molecules Wake Up Eye Gel cream over here. This is just depotted. This is the Dermalogica Sound Cocoon, Sleep Cocoon, something like that. I'm going to leave everything in the description, and I'm going to use this at night, so I just put it this because it's, it's too big the packaging and these are my two sunscreens and then we go for the next step I think that the perfect no makeup makeup has to be a glowy dewy makeup I'm going to help myself doing that with this luminous primer this is going to help me create a luminous effect that comes from within instead of having something shimmery on top. That's not going to look as natural, it's going to look a little bit more done and you want to give the illusion that you're not wearing makeup. So this is going to be great for that. One common mistake that people make when trying to do a no makeup makeup is going for a very matte foundation or a very matte finish and that is not natural. So I'm going to use a foundation that is not going to have a lot of coverage. You can easily use a BB cream for this. I am going to use a foundation because I think I do need a little bit more coverage but this is not going to cover all of my imperfections at all. You want the skin to still look like skin. You want to go for something that doesn't have a lot of coverage and we just want to even the skin tone a little bit. So today I'm going to use the True Match Super Blendable Foundation from L'Oreal. This is in the shade 1D1W Golden Ivory. I am going to apply it with my hands and then I'm going to bounce a wet beauty blender on top. You don't have to do this, you can just apply it with your fingers. I just like the feeling, but you can just do it with your hands very easily. Ta-da! As you can see, evening out the skin color does make a lot of difference, but you can still see all my imperfections, the redness, my pigmentation, the acne. It's just a little bit less obvious, and that's what we're going for. And I still look like I'm not wearing any makeup at all. And before I continue with anything, I'm going to hydrate my lips. This is just a lip balm. The next mistake you can be making is not curling your eyelashes. This is going to make all the difference in your makeup, especially if you decide not to wear mascara in the end. 
trust me this is going to open your eyes this is going to make you look more awake eyelash curlers are your friends the next mistake you can be making goes next to the foundation mistake that's because you're using too much coverage in your foundation just because you have a few things that you want to cover like acne for example what i'm trying to say is use concealers instead of a full coverage foundation and pick a concealer a specific for the things that you need to cover. For example, I use three different concealers for my no makeup makeup look, and this doesn't mean that you need three different concealers. It just means that I use them. So don't think that because it's three different products, it's more complicated. It's the other way. This is going to make my life easier. I'm going to explain you why in a second. The three of them are high pigmented concealers. That means that I only need a little bit and it's going to cover everything. So I don't need to use a lot of product. The main difference are the colors. The first one that I'm going to use is the Jouer Essential Concealer. This is in the shade Creme. And this has more of a pinky undertone. This is going to help me to cover easily dark circles and also my pigmentation. So I'm going to use this only to cover a little bit of my pigmentation on my upper lip and the pigmentation around my eyes. And for these two concealers, I don't always use both of them. I kind of use both for different things. This is more pigmented, but it's a little bit more heavy. And this is still high pigmented, but it's not as full coverage as this one, but this one is not as heavy and is just a little bit more fresh. If it's going to be very hot, I won't use this one because this one can look a little bit more cakey with the heat. I will always use only this one, but it also depends on how bad it is what I'm covering. So if I have something really, really bad, I'm going to use this one but I might just use it on that little spot instead of everywhere. And these two are different from the other one because these have a golden undertone and that golden undertone is going to help me cover or correct the redness in my skin. So I'm going to use that only to cover the little redness that I have in my face, like the acne, but I'm not going to cover all of the redness of my face because look, a perfect skin is not natural. So those little imperfections are the things that are going to tell the eye that you're not wearing makeup. She has a freckle, you know? So it's not about covering all of the imperfections that you have. It's more about deciding which ones you prefer. For example, you're going to see that I'm not going to cover all of the redness that I have in my cheeks or all of the pigmentations that I have around my face. They're going to look like freckles and they're going to just be there. So you want to embrace some of your imperfections and make it work for you instead of just trying to hide everything. So I'm going to show you now how I use these only to cover the acne and how I do it. So I always go with this one first and see how that goes. Okay, so I feel that that worked pretty good. I don't really feel that I need more coverage. Maybe this one, the big one, and also so I can show you how to use that one. But I don't think that I need anything else like you can see the redness around my cheeks that's going to stay so i'm going to take this little guy over here and with my finger i'm just going to put a dot on top and blend the edges and that's it i love this concealer the only thing is that with the heat can look a little bit cakey but other than that it's perfect like it's just magic now we're going for lips and cheeks and I'm going to show you a trick that I do is just take a lip balm that is very similar to your lip color like this one and that same product you're going to apply it in your hand and just blend it out with your fingers until you have as much color as you want. This is a great way to pair your lipstick or your lip balm with your cheeks and make it look more natural. I do recommend that you always do it like in a topic motion just because this is a lip balm and you don't want to move anything underneath but you can also use a product like this one that is a cream blush you can also use that on your lips but i wanted to use something different today you can also use a beauty blender to blend it out for the eyes i do like to add a little bit of powder just because you start getting a little bit of creasing of the foundation that's definitely not natural so i want to just make sure that i don't have anything and for this you can use a bronzer that is very very soft or just a darker powder that's also going to help to give a little bit more definition but if you don't want to add any color that's okay and you can use just the translucent powder so i'm just going to apply it 
on my crease and without any more product I'm just going to blend the edges to make sure that there's no harsh lines. Now let's talk about brows. I'm going to use a brow pencil that is going to be very, very soft. Don't make your eyebrows too perfect. You want to make sure that your eyebrows are brushed and you can fill in a little bit. So I like to use a brow pencil like this one and just shade a little bit the shape. And I do it like that with hair stroke, but very, very soft, not doing a lot of pressure so you, I don't get a harsh line. And just create the shape that I want. And then I brush again to make sure nothing is harsh. And now with a clear gel, you can just brush your eyebrows to make them same place. I personally love doing it with soap, but you can also use a gel. That being said, when I'm doing a no makeup makeup, I do want to brush them in a very natural way and not in a bushy model kind of way. Another tip that I have for you is to use a clear lip balm as your highlight. So instead of going for a shimmery, glittery highlight, just go for a lip balm and you can do the same that you did with the blush. I do like to put a little bit here in between my eyes and also here. And you can see the highlight, but it's not highlight, but just a regular lip balm. And it's going to be very natural just because it looks more like a bit of sweat, but in the right places. So the next tip is going to be that if you have very dry skin, you can avoid this step. But if you have more oily skin or you know you're going to get shiny during the day, I do like to use a powder like this one. This one is from MAC, the Mineralized Powders. This is very soft and almost has a sheen to it, but it's very natural. And with a brush, very, very lightly, not with a lot of product just apply it where you know you're going to shine so for me it's going to be around here and in the nose like in the center of my forehead and in my chin and that's all and the last step is going to be mascara if you think that black mascara is a little bit too harsh or too much you can use a brown mascara those are great but I do love a black mascara so you can just apply a very thin layer of mascara or you can even go for a very thick layer and just make it look like you're only wearing mascara that is all personal preference I do like to use a lot of mascara but I'm going to apply a thin layer just to show you how it looks and then I go in with more. But before my mascara, because I do like to use a non-waterproof one, I'm going to use a setting spray. I love this because it's going to melt everything in the skin and it's going to make it look more like skin, even though it's still very natural, but it's going to make it look hydrated. And if you keep this with you all day long, it doesn't have to be this one. You can use rose water or rice water as well. A toner, whatever you can use to mist your skin, that's going to keep your makeup hydrated and it's not going to look crusty or cakey anytime soon. that's everything I hope you like it don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one Jolene